Hello, welcome back to my corridors. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my corridors. So today I'm going to be talking about something not really, I don't know if it's controversial or not, but it's becoming more accepted in the metal community. And there's a lot of us kinds of people out in the metal community. So today I'm gonna to be talking about metalheads and veganism. So if all of you, all you guys who follow me on social media, you guys will know that, yes, I'm a vegan. I've been one for a while now. Hasn't been a year yet, but it's getting there. <laughs> and I just kind of wanted to give my opinion on it. Uh, the evidence that, <laughs> that I'm a vegan metalhead. I have vegan black metal shifts, the satanic spellbook. Awesome cookbook. I cook with it almost every week now. <laughs> So, I want to give my opinion on like veganism in the metal community. Like, you're probably wondering, how can you be a vegan and be a metalhead at the same time? Well, just because I'm a metalhead, that doesn't mean that I'm a mean, horrible, brutal person. That doesn't mean I like death entirely. That doesn't mean I like the killing of living creatures. That doesn't mean I like to, I don't know, think about the flesh of a dead animal or wear it on my body. <laughs> I guess the point is like just because I'm a metalhead doesn't mean I'm like a mean person. But that, I guess that's another subject for another day, but I guess metal's just, you know, my way of coping with it because, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of vegan metalhead musicians out there like Alyssa White Gloves from March Enemy, um, <laughs> uh, Millet from Creator, uh, Geezer Butler from Black Sabbath, um, I, they're not around anymore, but he's a vegan. And of course, Brian from Vegan Black Metal Chef. I guess it's essential if you're a vegan metalhead. <laughs> hmm, I'm not really sure, like, what the connection is, but it is becoming more appreciated in the metal community. It's not like being dissed on or pissed on. I mean, all my metalhead friends, they, they know, and they're they are cool with it. They're not making fun of me. They're not treating me like I'm like a crazy elitist vegan, because I'm, I'm not. I try to keep quiet about it, because if I didn't, I would not have friends. <laughs> but, I guess, um, I just lost my train of thought, sorry. Um, being a vegan, and well, my opinion... Being vegan in the metal community, that I think that's the most metal thing you can do. <laughs> it's weird, but I guess it's a good weird. <laughs> and I just because I like Cannibal Corpse, I like blood, I like um, like death and music. Well, the saying is death in my metal, not in my meals. <laughs> I. Just because like, I want to hear it in music, just because I want to like hear blood in my music doesn't mean like I want to see it on a living creature. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. <laughs> and uh, there are bands that do like talk about this stuff. I mean, Cattle Decap, Cattle Decapitation, they're a big one. Um, I don't think, the front man, Travis Ryan, I don't, he's not a vegan, but I think he's vegetarian at least. But they do talk about, you know, the issues with, you know, <laughs> the things that goes on over there in slaughterhouses and talking about the environmental impact. So if you ask me, I think Cattle Decap is the most vegan band out there. But I think veganism and being a metalhead do have like a great connection to each other. It, it just like, I mean, not every metalhead is this but a lot of us do happen to be that way <laughs> like I said there's a lot of vegan metal musicians out there but the point is just just because I'm like a like brutal music doesn't mean I'm a brutal person doesn't mean like I like to see dead animals or dead living creature anything that's living like dead or anything hopefully I don't like sound like a crazy person like trying to push veganism because I'm not I do not 
force my opinions on anyone. I do not hate anybody who is not a vegan. I respect everybody. I try to be nice to everybody. <laughs> but it's becoming more accepted in the metal community. But people outside the metal community can be dicks about it, but I'm not here to advocate that. So, yeah. Being a vegan in the metal community is pretty fucking rad. And I think that's the most metal thing that I've ever done. <laughs> so, I guess that's it. I will see you all later and stay metal.